In our fast-paced, computer-driven society, typing has become a survival skill in the workplace. As educators, leaders, and decision makers, we are in the business of building people and developing people's skills. The decision we make can affect their entire lives and career. The Almina Method teaches all 26 letters of the alphabet in one quick, easy lesson. Almina invites you to join her at one of her training sessions. The first thing that I'd like you to do is to excite the students. And if you're teaching young students like you do, Lisa, they're also excited to use the computer, aren't they? They sure are. And you, of course, you teach older students, you know, and if you're doing corporate training, which you, you do sometimes because you train teachers, um, sometimes people are a little bit um, apprehensive, you know, when it's learning a new skill. But the first thing to do, the first thing I'd like you to do is to excite the group, doesn't matter what age group, because you know, typing is a physical skill. It's like basketball or, you know, running. You have to get excited, you know? So that is what you do in order to get good results. The software is very easy. If you have a projector, you can show the entire keyboard on the projector if you have a group. If you're teaching just one or two students, then you can um, just let them use a, a, an airphone and they can follow the instructions. It's very easy, it's very, very quick. The second thing I'd like you to do is, once they've finished the keyboard, verbally test the students, all the students as a group. And, and you know, just enjoy it, have fun, it's exciting. Let them say it aloud. Don't you do that, Lisa? Well, yes, I do, and one of the things that I do is before we start your program, I give my students a blank keyboard on paper and pencil, ask them to fill it in, and the looks on their faces are, <laughs> they turn a little green. And then after your program, I give them a written, uh, a blank keyboard again, the same keyboard but on a different color paper. And after we've done your lesson, then I ask them to complete it, and the results are night and day. That I, technique I strongly recommend. Do the pretest, let them find out if they know the keyboard, because sometimes they tell you they can type, but they really don't know the keyboard, and that is the key. The second thing is that once they know the keyboard, go on to lesson two. Lesson two is um, a combination of different sentences and passages, and that is very easy, that is quick, and you know, in lesson two, you really don't have a lot of work except to commend them. Keep encouraging them, uh, motivate them, inspire them. That is your main um, technique with getting success in this program. Just keep motivating them and give, give them the confidence, give them the means by which they can develop their self-esteem. Any questions on that, on lesson two? No. You've used it, no? Encouragement, yeah. Constant encouragement. Uh -huh. Constant encouragement is the key. I was teaching one student once and um, her hands were so wet. You know, it was the days of typewriter and the paper was wet because she didn't have any confidence and she didn't know that she could learn it so well. Mm. But once she realized how well she has learned it, her self-confidence and self-esteem just skyrocket. Don't you find that? I do, and you know what I like about lesson two is that it's not meaningless letters that have no meaning, like just practicing the home row key, home row key, but they're meaningful sentences and right out of the right out of the gate the kids are typing sentences as opposed to practicing meaningless series of letters. So that's been, I like that and they do too. They feel like they're really typing. Great. You know, my philosophy is that there's no point teaching a child or an adult for that matter to type and they're learning nonsense. You know, there's no point telling them in a sentence to type a sentence that is telling them to take a number 10 bus when they never take a num number 10 bus. It's better to give them positive sentences so there is always an extra learning in, in whatever they're typing. I believe they must learn from it. And teachers have told me that once the students have com done my course, they are happy and they walk away from the computer room feeling, you know, so confident. And one of the added bonus is that they have such high self-confidence because they've proven that they have the ability to learn. And once a student can prove 
to himself that he or she has the ability to learn, you can't stop that, that student. It, we make winners out of the student. I agree with that, Almina. That's very important, key to learning, building that self-confidence through encouragement. Yes, yes. And you know they get so little of it. Because in a lot of situations, you know, they think that they're a loser or they think that they have failed. But using my programs, students never, ever believe they're a loser because they learn so quickly and their self-confidence start to increase so rapidly that sometimes you don't know it's the same student. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you, there are no guarantees in life, but there has not been a student I've taught yet in the years, all the years that I've used your program, who has not mastered the keyboard in 20 minutes with your mnemonic devices and your sayings. And so it is, the, the program is successful and the kids feel highly successful as well. I learned to type that way with your program and I feel successful. Great. So. <laughs> all teaching techniques are designed for teaching multiple skills. Almina's passages are fun, exciting, and students learn from them. They are designed to inspire students and to put them in a positive frame of mind. So in conclusion, I'd like to advise you to approach this as a success course. Make up your mind that every student in your group is gonna learn. And if you're teaching students who are in a welfare to work program or in adult ed, they may say they don't want to type or they may not like the computer because they they like other fields of work, like they would like to be a nurse or something. But in our technology age, everybody has to use the computer. Everybody has to use it accurately. I have trained doctors in England, group after group of doctors at St. Thomas's Hospital, and they cannot afford to make a mistake. I was also teaching, and one little fellow, he, they were teenagers, he sat on the floor and he said, I don't want to learn to type because I want to be a cop. I said, I am now training all the police officers because they are not writing anything anymore. They are typing it in. So do you want to get a head start? He said, okay. And he jumped up and he learned it. So you can use this to motivate anyone. And if, as I said, if you're doing a, a job training course, hold up a dollar bill and let them know that if they can type the 60 words a minute accurately, they can command a better salary. They can get a job quicker. They can do more computer skills because they can master word processing in no time. So it adds to their economic value. It increases their self-worth. So I would like you to pay attention to the softer skills that you're teaching. It's gonna help you, it's gonna help your students, and you're gonna be surprised to know how successful you become and your students become, and I wish you all the very best. This is not just a typing program. It is a success program that will help your students to succeed, to reach for the skies, and to go out into the world and lift their quality of life. We hope you will enjoy teaching this valuable skill and wish you all the very best. <laughs>